Hello, welcome to Double Talk on the Corona Cast right here on the Left Pusher Channel. This is Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, and I'm riding in the sidecar because if you had a motorcycle, you'd be driving the motorcycle, and I'd be Would in you? the sidecar. That's how it works. Yes, you'd be riding ditch. Yes. So, we're, what are you going to talk about the sidecar? We're going to do the sidecar drink, which is an old drink from from uh, Prohibition time, but isn't everything, right? Oh, I'll take these off. You can take these off. Let's do that. Because we're going to have to drink stuff. And uh, so the sidecar, in the old days, people used a lot of cognac and brandy because it was available. And it's, it was safer than water sometimes. It's, yes, it is. And we never had vodka. We had gin. So the sidecar is virtually uh, a very simple drink. We got uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon, already squeezed. Squeezed. We will do uh, Cointreau. Now let's see the picture of those sidecars. Let's see the picture of those sidecars. <laughs> so the same amount of uh, Cointreau, which is actually an orange flavored drink. And so we're going to compare two different types of brandies. There's a nice uh, motorcycle with sidecar. It's a sidecar. That's where they got the name of it. Yeah, a guy was sitting in a bar, made up a drink, and then the guy in a sidecar pulls up. He said, what would you would call that drink? And he said, a sidecar. They're very handy for shopping. You put all your groceries in there. And your people. Have you used it for that? And ounce and a half of, this is the very finest brandy under $8, I think. Yeah. Yes, who makes that? E and J. E and J. Very good. Two brothers whose last names were Gallo. Gallo, a very fine company. Yes. Once it got rid of its name and started taking other names on, people would start to drink it. So we're going to compare this, which is, you know, kind of a standard brandy for the old days. Have you got ice in here? Very good. I do. I'll do it here. All right. Look at that. Two different movements at the same time. Also, my phone's ringing in my pocket, so gosh, I'm getting totally stimulated. Woohoo! Guess that's enough shaking. Ooh, good color. It's lemony mostly. Well, that's brown. The lemon is pretty clear. Yeah. So, and the ice is totally melted, so. So, how many ingredients are in this? Three ingredients if you don't count the ice. And we're going to put a little twist here. Let's okay. do a twist. Give you a little twist. This is a good thick orange. You, wanna, you may not want any I'll drink. Put it right there. So EJ Brandy is pretty much what the, you'd say the cheapest you could get? Uh, uh, no, I think there's a cheaper one. Because I believe I have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's like lemony. Rather tart. Rather tart. I think uh, the recipe calls for half, I mean three quarters lemon, three quarters Cointreau. Uh, one of them I saw was uh, half an ounce of lemon, which I think I would go towards. I still it isn't bad. Maybe one more thing on it just to level it out. One more this thing? No. One more drink? Something. Maybe something slightly sweet. Like a maraschino liqueur? Ooh, a maraschino cherry. <laughs> that would be good, too. That's not part mm -hmm. of it. A Luxardo oh, cherry, of course. You want a little bit more of this? Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Your drink gets bigger. <clears throat> I won't be able to drive my sidecar. I think you'll be able to drive a lot better than when we had the, uh, <laughs> the what was it? The, pu Pat the puckered vampire? Vampire. That helps a little bit. I think I'm Don't just think? gonna, huh? I think it helped a little bit. I think I'll just finish this off and wait till the next half of the show when we go to a very special cognac. Very special. Very special. Mm. You know, because there's- Ingredients count. With all the bad news going on these days, there are, is some good news now. The city parks have opened up again. All city parks and playgrounds are open. How often do you use city parks? Well- Do you go to city park? Do you walk in city park? I, I live near one. Um, we've been able to. Young Park is open. We've been able to bike on La Llorona Path. Oh, have you? Which is, a, I think it's a city park. Probably consider it a city park, yes. People don't really hang out there because it's a path and you're just going back and forth. 
so you're not really getting close to a lot of people. But on the Picacho side, it seems to be a park. Are the city pools open? I don't think they are. Oh, I doubt that. You know, they've got there's chlorine. It's 100 percent chlorine if it is. Yeah. yeah you and uh, <clears throat> you know, just recently, a couple of weeks ago, two of the largest grocery stores in town were forced to close thanks to the virus. What are their names, Mark? Well, the Albertsons at Loman and Tel Shore, and the Walmart on Rin Conada. They've both opened up again now. Yes. And uh, which is good. They allowed uh, Albertsons to open up a little bit earlier than but, originally planned, but when you go in, you have to put your name down. Oh my God, tracking, huh? Yeah, you know, in case they need to track you. Well, and uh, we get tracked because you look at the paper every day and see who gets more than you know four responses or more. And so we gain two grocery stores and we lose Mountain View Market. They are they it's close their doors exactly forever. That way. How many people who use Albertsons and Walmart were steady buyers from the co-op? Me. The co-op's been around for forty-five years. I was at the co-op earlier this week. Uh, I was there on the. You first. were there because you thought it was on a sale. Now well, it's a sale. Oh, it's okay. Closed. They're closed. It's not a sale because right now it's Saturday and that's their last day. No, they're it? gone. Long gone. Um, but they're not long gone. They barely are gone. They're still going until Saturday, which is today. The 5th. Yes. They said the 5th. Yes. So they're not long gone. They're barely gone. If you rush out of your house, you can go get some absinthe uh, salami. Did you ever have that? No, That's I don't really eat salami. Good. <laughs> it's made out of chicken. But, you know, I, I went, there's one market I went to. There was no line at all. In fact, I was the only customer in the entire store. That's the Aiden Market on South Solano. The what? Aiden Market. Oh, yeah. That's a market that used to be next to International Delights right. that they owned. Yeah. It's there now. moved up. It's there in an old, decrepit Pickwick from yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's near the, uh, the, second, the second largest co-ass bookstore in town. That's right. It's Solano in Utah. Anyway, I bought a can of Harissa. Some Did you like it? I haven't opened it yet. Oh, because I liked Harissa when I had it in restaurants, but when I do it myself, I got some frozen so chicken thighs. <laughs> Don't brag about your thighs. And I got sheep's milk cheese, a big, a small wheel of it, about that thick. Sheep's milk, huh? Sheep's milk cheese. I haven't opened it yet either. Did you ever have ram's milk cheese? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, it's co-ops close. So, uh, my, you know, I got full membership. If you do 20 years of paying your dues, you don't have to keep paying dues. Yeah. And actually, to me, that happened about nine or ten years ago. And plus you get the benefits. You know, you get the discounts. Yeah, but I didn't go there that much. So, <laughs> because you need a discount to make it worth your while. Well, see, if you buy vitamins there, it, it builds up quickly. Oh, that's true. Um, but yeah. if you buy vitamins other places, you don't pay as much. <laughs> yeah. Um, Although I do appreciate the idea of a co-op, and they were getting local produce, local and organic. People, yes, produce. and people could buy uh, sort of monthly or weekly stipends of it, and you're sure of getting. Uh, yeah. No, stuff. I'm going to miss that place. Definitely. You used to get dinner there, didn't you? They had food. Yes, they had, you could get dinner for like three dollars. <laughs> you could get lunch there. You so, could order a sandwich. So or what whatever. kind of crackers and cheese do you get for three bucks for dinner? No, it was like bean cooked dish, meals. Bean, beans, pasta. They had a salad bar. Anyway, mm. you know, restaurants. <clears throat> you know, this this uh, gets nicer. I tried a drink out this week that I made up, and our first <laughs> drink of it, it was quite shocking. Um, on the other hand, after the second or third drink, it was quite pleasant. <laughs> it had stuff like chinar. <laughs> And uh, an aperitif that had a lot of gentian in it well, and gin. Most things are less shocking after your third drink. Yes. I find that with IPAs and uh, also with Guinness Stout. When you first drink Guinness Stout, you go, I thought, it, I, thought I ordered beer. Who gave me a chocolate malt? Well, you, your first sip is shocking. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but restaurants now are open again. Well, uh, They're offering outdoors. 25 only at 25%. Capacity outdoors only. Which makes what possible? I was going over the list of possible places. Most places don't have outdoors. Hacienda has outdoors. They also have those heaters. And you want uh, heaters now. What other place? Oh, I think the front part of Les Combs. Les Combs has a lot of outdoor stuff. They do. So that works pretty good. You know, they have that place next to the indoor stuff, which is coated 
you know, has plastic, plastic. between you. They can roll that so up. So if they take that off, that's considered outdoors. Plus they have a huge outdoor area than yard if they could use. All right, they could, but <clears> that's they wanted going to be darn cold. Yeah, well, who wants to sit outside and eat anyway in cold weather like we've had this week? Nobody. <clears throat> we got snow but in the mountains. But this was a, an unusual week. Well, Hopefully winter. Hopefully it's going to get better, you know, as the winter goes on. Winter's only a, a month away. <laughs> you mean December 21st or something? That's right. Yes. That's right. So that's when it really <clears throat> That's usually the only time it, it really snows. Well, I was coming back on uh, uh, Wednesday from uh, closer to the mountains. I had little snow flakes on my car. Yeah. So, but nobody else knew about it, so it didn't matter. You know, a lot, a lot of... It, it's kind of difficult to go Christmas shopping because they only allow so many people in the store. <clears throat> so many people are just going online. Say, forget well, that's about true. it. That's true. And but the, a lot of these catalog stores are saying, you know, you need to order now. Now because uh, <laughs> they are, the mail they, is going to be inundated. UPS mm. and FedEx, they have extra trucks out. They're amazing. Yes. They also are double <clears throat> teaming people, so the guy doesn't have to shut the engine or put it in park and run out. They send somebody right. out. Right. Plus, if you use the U.S. mail, you know, it's been pretty much hobbled uh, this fall. And so uh, only they're behind. Only for voting. It's only hobbled for well, voting. Oh, here. here's, here's a letter I received in the mail this week. Uh, came, came to my uh, box at home. Dave, can you do a close-up on that letter? <laughs> Zoom in on the letter, okay, yeah. Dave? It's addressed to uh, May Pepe, 132 Birchwood Terrace, Wayne, New Jersey. And he got it because he's related to a lot of people. His Thanks. family has been here a long time. Thanks, post office. The Pepe family. And you know what it is, because you got the same one from Kroger? Well, it, no, it's because they got rid of the sorting machines. It's all done by hand now, and it's, they're confused. Well, well N, J, N, M, it's hard to say. Yeah, they both start yeah, with an N. Yeah, or an N, so that should be interesting. <laughs> oh, I bought the, speaking of getting, I got a refund, or I'm getting a refund from this thing called Better Oats. It was a... Uh, oatmeal cereal that I saw, and I was getting mm. these uh, these instant oatmeals. I'm thinking better oats. It says it's better. Don't drip all over yourself. It says better oats. It only had like 100 calories. It had a lot of fiber, and I'm eating it. And I'm going, this really tastes chemical. And I looked, and it has your least favorite uh, uh, chemical thing. What Don't is it? Monosodium glutamate. No, that's not a high fructose corn syrup. syrup. No, no, the other one, uh, uh, stevia. It tastes like stevia. Do you, want the, you want the box? I'll is, bring it to you. Is it on the ingredients list? Yes, it is. I don't want it sweet. I sweet my own. But it's stevia. They like it. I don't sweet. care. I, I, I find stevia to be too sweet. I, I have find to find it to ways be to nullify too it. Too chemically. So I called up and I complained because they have that usual ah. disclaimer that says, if you are dissatisfied, call, call us. 800 number. So after the first three minutes of telling all the other things I was dissatisfied about, they said, yes, yes, but what about the product that we make? And then I told them, and they said, okay, we'll send you five bucks for it. Oh, they're going to send you five bucks? You didn't ask how much it cost. Now, how much was it? Two ninety nine. Hmm. So those of you who want to make you money. You should have told huh? me you bought two of them. <laughs> no, I didn't tell them anything. I just said that, and, and I said, all right. And you'll so, have to wait 12 to 14 weeks to receive that check. On the other hand, they don't have to get a bad recommendation for me right away. Uh huh. Yeah, you won't go online. These guys. I see. Yeah, no, online's the worst thing. So, speaking of oatmeal, restaurants. We think that the Amador should open. They have a lot of outdoor. They have space. plenty of outdoors. They have outdoors. People have been seeing the lights on. My wife goes by it once a day. Is wondering when it's going to open. Well, you know I, that Oriental restaurant up on Roadrunner Parkway. Yeah. Oh, the uh, sushi place. Yes, the one that's by. Uh, I'm blanking Sam's. on the name. Sam's. No, no, the one that's by... Uh, okay, sushi? Fresh sushi? No, it's just right off of Loman in that big shopping area. Oh, Sakura. Oh, no. Oh, uh, uh, Azul. Yes, Cafe Azul. It's not Cafe Azul. They, they, can't, Azul. Uh, they can't have people indoors, but they're going to put two tables outside. Now, how can they stay in business with two just two tables. tables? Well, takeout. It makes takeout more... They, you know, all, they also have takeout. So that's If you do have uh, a takeout and you show people outside that you're doing stuff, it's okay. You know, Texas Roadhouse, who has also been closed down, had the parking lot in front of the place open for business, and we ate there with your friends, the Libby's. 
our when? friends too, the Libbies. And uh, it seemed quite, this was like two months ago or more. Oh, okay. And uh, This before they were shut down. Yeah, way before. By the health department. And they seemed a little lackadaisical about their protocol. So, but it was good to be there. And people wonder how, how it's spreading. You wonder. Well, oh, are you going to talk about the next thing? No, oh. let's take a break first. Okay, we're gonna are we taking a break? We're taking a break and we'll come back. We're winding up we, we're with gonna, the new improved We're going to do the good bar. stuff, the good uh, cognac. Get a bottle of this. You should taste this, Ed. on channel 98 keep watching because we have so much in store for you we want to grow together your channel local and real if we want to improve America's health care system let's start by improving the health of Americans Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. And we're back. This is Double Talk on the Las Cruces channel. In case you don't recognize me, Michael Mandel. Remember, I wore this in the beginning. I just want to have continuity to this. So we're trying uh, the sidecar number two. You can do sidecars however you want. You just use a brandy and or cognac. Cognac is actually a quality brandy. brandy. Yeah. As well as a couple of weeks ago, we did something where we compared a cognac with an Armagnac, which is a different type of... Uh, a different type of cognac from a different region. So like Courvoisier, brandy or cognac? Courvoisier is... Brandy. <laughs> Overpriced brandy. Who are you talking about, Courvoisier or Cointreau? No, Courvoisier. Courvoisier. Oh, brandy. it's a good brandy. Yeah. I like Courvoisier. My wife likes uh, Remy Martin. I prefer cognac. Remy Martin is a cognac. And... I have cognac tastes on a brandy budget. On a Christian Brothers brandy, <laughs> right. you've determined. So this is what Quant is on Quantro. Sale? Don't let the, the C words uh, confuse you. That's Cointreau, which is an orange flavor. It's actually made with a base of cognac. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes, as, as well as Grand Marnier. This is an exciting little cognac that we found probably in Specs. Um, mm. It's made by Ciroc, who is known for their uh, French uh, vodka. Vodka yes. made out of grapes. Oh, we haven't it's had that on the show, have we? Ages ago. We did vodka tastings ages ago. Ciroc was, well, Ciroc Ciroc was, Ciroc was the, one of the best ones, maybe the best. Okay. And uh, Except I liked level one, which you can't even find anymore, Oh, except in my house. Oh, you, you hoarded. I got a whole bottle of it to wipe them out. Um, so Ciroc is doing this a VS, very special. Uh... Uh, French no. brandy. No. It's the same grapes they make their vodka out of. Now, what it's does VSOP mean? <laughs> we all say it's uh, very special, overpriced. <laughs> That's right. Is that the joke? I think <laughs> it's it is. a joke. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Opera, you know, 
over perfect. So, okay, this is a good brandy from a vodka maker. Why not? They got the grapes. Sure. And they got the casks. Oh, yeah. So I would guess that it's the same. It's like their vodka, and they just put it into uh, oak casks. Oak casks for how long? Probably BS is probably eight years. VSOP is uh, probably 12, 12 years. It's quite an investment in time. We're going to love this, yeah. But it just sits there. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> and the angels come down and get their share. They don't turn it. Which is what the, uh, no, that's champagne. The angels. the angels share. That's what they have in Scotland. All the, oh, look, the color is so much better. <laughs> so much more vibrant. It's just glowing with uh, French grapes. Take it all, Michael. Take it no, all. No, 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 no. I, I don't want you to think I'm cheating you. <laughs> I know. I'm paying too much for this. Slangema already. That's pretty good. I'll, I prefer this to the previous oh, one. Oh, man. I do. It's got, I did do less lemon. You know, it might be good without lemon totally. It's I, not as tart. Right. I did half an ounce rather than three quarters good. of an ounce. So. That's nice. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if you really need lemon at all. I think it's just a sidecar. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. That's a good question. Well, that's why we're here, Michael, to figure these things to out. figure these out. As a public I mean, service to our viewers. Just because we've had this drink, this drink has been around since uh, the 20s. Thank who, I can't say thank God for Prohibition, because he didn't make Prohibition. Thank America. Thank Volstead. Yes, for making Prohibition. Everybody tried to make new drinks out of the rotten bathtub gin they had. And uh, some of that bathtub gin was bathtub cognac. <laughs> Well, you know, we do have some more good news here in New Mexico, if you want to call it that. You're uh, an angel, you know that. You're the suicide happiness. rates in New Mexico have gone down. Um, yeah. They went down from 535 in 2019 to th 5,015. 515. 515. I'm sorry, 515. Yes. So but it went down by 20 suicides uh, unless December, in one year. Unless December has 20 more suicides. Well, that, that was 2019. And Michael. this is 2020. And this is 2020. We don't so, know what the rates are. We won't know that until next year when they when they 2018 to these. 2019. So the suicide rate shouldn't really matter because they're already dead. Well, if they wait, if they wait and catch the COVID, it'll be it'll be taken care of for That's them. right. Self-suicide. You know, a lot of old people do that. Oh, get rid of it. So land office is offering. Oh, you're going to go out and get a Christmas tree from sure. uh, when you go up to. Uh, uh, Sacramento Mountain. If you yes. want to cut, cut down your own Christmas tree, and I've done it, you have to get a permit to do that. It doesn't cost much. Um, or you could just be a fast runner. And you can, so they're offering permits, low cost permits now uh, until December 25th. They're also offering permits for people to, who want to go out and collect sand for oh. luminarios. <laughs> yes, these are both. Long-held traditions. Is that a picture of sands, different colors? Yeah, those are jars full of sand. <laughs> Can't you just uh, take your shoes and shake them into your luminaria? Yeah. They're loaded with sand. And uh, so there's not as many luminarios this year. People are canceling them out. Well, the university's not doing it like they usually do. They used to have those drive-arounds in neighborhoods. Yes. Those were cool. That may still be happening. It should be because you just sit in your in car. car. Mayfield High School uh, used to sell them as a fundraiser. Well, they're not a school anymore, so that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so take it when you can. So, well, sand gathering. But you have to you have to buy your permits online. Luminaries are great. Okay, let's. Oh, this is your favorite topic. I don't know what makes you think about this every week. Yeah, I wonder. What? Uh, what? What makes you think about it? Oh, what about COVID nineteen? Oh yeah. Yes. Can now, we call it COVID twenty next year? Maybe. You know, I tried to I tried to get tested. Uh, over there at the health department, I went Friday, I went Monday and Wednesday. They're not doing it now. There were no people in, in the parking lot doing it. They had cones blocking off the way to get in. So I don't know who, I guess the university's still doing it. How many it. times have you been tested? Never. I've never been tested for COVID-19. I got, I got three under my belt. Most of them under my nose, but uh -huh. three under my belt. I don't know what they were looking for. Well, um, Dr. Robert Redfeld of the CDC said that December, January, and February will be the worst months yet. May, basically because we noticed that Thanksgiving really caused a spike. Although, actually, Las Cruces has seen a dip 
recently. I mean, we were doing, right after Thanksgiving, we were doing three and 400 a day. Now it's between one and 200 a day. But yeah. maybe that's because they stopped testing. Stopped testing, I don't, yeah. I, I saw a doctor on, on TV say that Thanksgiving air travelers should assume that they're infected. Because so, there are crowded airports, no masks. Here's what I'm gonna argue and, with you in the next four minutes that we have for the show, which is if you're on an airplane, the airplane is fairly well ventilated. Yeah, it's not if the airplane you have to worry about, it's the, it's the airport. Well, the airport, you just stay away from me. But what I found when we were, and you know, we've been on the plane at least, tw well, four times uh, since this started. And what you do is you wait till everybody gets on. Then you get on. And then you get on. Why not? Now, so there's, there's long lines for testing, if you can find a testing place around here. And there's long waits for the results, up to 12 days to get your results back. In which time? You could have caught it. If they tell you you're negative, well, you might already have it again. The weird part about COVID is you can be a non-symptomatic uh, uh, carrier yes. and give it to somebody, which is what the problem is yes. if you don't know. And right but now we have, we have 100,000 people in hospitals, 6,700 on ventilators, and, and a quarter of a million deaths from the COVID-19. You're talking statewide or yes. countrywide? Countrywide. How many deaths? And oh, countrywide. Yeah, quarter right. of a million deaths. And so, I want to know, why is England ahead of us with the vaccines? Well, it's well, a Because they didn't delay country. like we did. They what? They didn't delay. They, they got right on it. They have a single leader who made a single statement yeah. and uh, worked for it. They didn't and call it a hoax. We have a single leader who didn't do nothing. You know, Canada's death rate is 39% of the U.S. But they wish it, they're wishing Because they got was, right on it. They were thinking it was, they wish it was higher. Because they're living in Canada. Yes, here's my question. Yes. I'm the expert, so ask me. Since this came from China, China invented this and yeah. sent it to us. Shouldn't China be forced to pay for testing, vaccinations, healthcare costs, not to mention burial fees of all U.S. citizens? It wasn't their fault that people from here happened to be touring there. At no, the that's time. not how it got here. How did it get here? They sent it over in uh, carts. Well, oh, we, we well however, go. it got here. It's because of them. They released it into the wild. They did not release it. Yes, they did. In okay, fact, they, why I, don't you argue with your president? I think they released it on purpose. Look, there's a little black, huh? I think they released it on purpose. You are Not like, accidentally. You, that's crazy. You oh, know so what? it was an accident? The whole idea of COVID is an accident where bats were giving... No, it came out of a laboratory is what that you the U.S. Said. gave $7 oh, million oh, dollars we're to. We're going to end this on a, an argument. Um, what's it? Should China be forced to pay for testing bags? Sure, sure. They pay for it because... We buy most of their products, and they pay their workers Gupta's. to pay to, to make uh, iPhones <laughs> and your iPads and all those other yes. things you don't know how to use. See you next week.